I'm John. And tonight on the docket, we remember Ellie Stone. And we talk about the Confederate's flag. There's no stopping us now, because we're live. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers. Give John answers. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers now. Check your calendar. If your calendar says July 9th, which it 2015, does. It does. It does. then we're live. Look, it's right there. Uh, my first witness tonight is Keith Statenfield. He's a host of Keith Explains, also on this channel, uh, where he explains a variety of things, mostly lying, mostly lies. Uh, Wednesday's 8.30. Wednesday's 8.30. Yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah. Are they still playing you? Or are you in reruns? I don't know. Are you still in re re reruns? I don't know. I should, I should look into that. Uh, Keith is my expert witness tonight because he's a news junkie, history buff, philosophy major, and has a great head of hair. That can't be right. It's not right. It's not right. Uh, oh, I got something. Also, no one else was available. Yes. We cannot get anyone better. Yeah. Oh, you brought me a cupcake. I brought you a cupcake. Yeah, let me get it out for you. Let me get it out for you. I'm going to use matches okay. from Chicago, Illinois. Okay, this is okay in the studio. I got permission. Ordinarily, fire not allowed in the studio because it's very flammable everywhere. Keith is older now than he used to be, which as, I guess is true every, every day. Every day. Every moment. Um, but well, right now, it's an integer multiple of years. Of years. Yes. Yes. So we are celebrating that he's reached a, another seven integer. Square. Seven squared. Seven years. squared. It's my last power of seven. Because uh, eight squared would be. Well, my last power of seven. Oh, yeah, your last power of yeah. seven. Yeah. 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 You were out of sevens, man. Yeah. I mean, two, you should get a bunch of twos. But when you, you really get only get two sevens. 64. Is your next big one? It'd be eight squares. Eights. Yeah, but also square. twos, right? It's two to the. To a the, lot of twos. It's a lot of twos. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, congratulations. Okay. Thank you. I never understand birthdays. I don't know what the big deal is. I try to be a fan. Have you looked at Wikipedia? They got a page on birthdays. Yeah. Are you in it? No. Okay. I try to be a fan of Keith Explains, but it's hard. You try. It's hard. Because you, you claim to have uploaded episodes. I did. And you claim that there's some kind of podcast okay. coming. Wait. Ha 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 ha. My mm -hmm. iPhone keeps telling me no new episodes. You got, um, you got new ones? You got to go, you got you to refresh the podcast. Okay. It's, it's in the iTunes store, though. They, they emailed me and I looked. It's there. It is? It is. Okay, wow. It's there. You can look me up on iTunes. Keep While exploring. we're looking for that, um, if you've never seen the show before, you this is like a courtroom drama. I'm the prosecutor. My guest is the expert witness. And you at home are the jury and in the studio. I think you might have gotten a jury summons this month. Um... We have information, a uh, friend of the show, friend of the court, uh, Scott Canaster. Scott Canister. Uh, I said, Canister. I think this show Canister. keeps getting better and better in some ways. In some ways. And now yes. we asked him to clarify what the some ways were. I think it's and episode number. <laughs> keeps getting higher and higher. Exactly. He, he then clarified it was because we keep trying to do this, well, I keep trying to do this courtroom drama theme. Yes. And it keeps falling apart. But I keep, I keep with, at it. With good cause. Hey, I'll have order. Prosecutor doesn't get to bang the gavel. That's the judge. Where's the judge? I'm most of the judge. That's, this is a kangaroo court. This people what is a kangaroo court is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, no, we've been through this. We, I'm not arguing. Have I, have I said this was a kangaroo court before? Yes, yes. Because truthfully, I, I barely remember this <laughs> the, show. The very early time. episode you started saying okay, that. Okay, okay. We'll be taking your tweets. You can tweet us at John Wants Answer during the show, and then later on we will read them and discuss. Because yeah. we're live, so it's like you and I can can talk. Twitter's thinking of, of increasing the, the name length. The same so day when they go to 16, that the CEO, well, the name length is going to be the name length. Too. Okay. At that when it when it gets longer, what if someone else quick jumps on and gets John oh, Wants Answers? That would suck. That would suck. Um, if you don't like Especially Twitter, if it's someone you know, if you don't like Twitter, like I don't. You can go to the website, johnwantsanswers.com, and go to the contact us link, and then you can send us a message 
on the website instead of Twitter. We'll read those too. Um, so tonight, assuming any, assuming anyone tweets or messages, the last month we, we had nothing. We've already, we've already got two. I don't what? want to spoil anything. We already have two. Man. Um, are they from you? No. Are they from Scott Canaster? Maybe. Okay. So, in more, I'm trying to do this whole courtroom thing, right? So our, our taxpayers, we couldn't do the show without taxpayers, you know, because it costs money to rent the studio. And so you paid. So our taxpayers this month are, is Brain Westpafall. West, I think it's Brian. I think it's Brian Westpafall. Brian Westpafall. The name seems familiar. Fall? I think we've said it before. We Westpaw. used to call him executive producer, but now we're, I'm saying. You've demoted him. Taxpayer. Oh, is that demotion? Well, we executive to, producer's okay. got executive in it. Executive taxpayer. Executive, executive taxpayer. taxpayer. Executive taxpayer. Brian Westfall. The opinions stated here are my own and not necessarily those of my company. That would be the office of the district attorney. <laughs> yes, district attorney. The district attorney has nothing to has do, nothing with, to do these opinions, with this courtroom and the opinions brought down from the bench. Um, so we, we have issued a jury summons to Lisa Tamaki, Tamaki and I noticed that she is Tamaki. not here tonight. If only we had a bailiff. So um, I'm ordering a bench warrant for Lisa Tamaki to appear before the court uh, in the next month. So she better be here. I don't think that's what a bench warrant is. A bench warrant is an order to appear. Well, I've I talked to lawyers. A, I think it's a warrant to allow you to be arrested, but I think it's paired with a court order. If the police find her and pull her over for speeding, her. they'll arrest her. And they'll corrupt. They'll, they'll and bring. They're gonna pull her over for speeding. They'll, I've seen her drive. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. So. Um. I'm ready for our first topic, which is remembering Ellie Stone. I. Yeah. I hear it more from this side. Yeah. This time. Yeah. I can almost see him. All right. He's further away this time. Um, I took a picture of Ellie Stone. Can we see the picture of Ellie Stone? There. Uh, this is Ellie Stone. Uh, Ellie was an instructor at Aperture Academy, where I've taken about 15 photo workshops. Uh, very sadly, Ellie passed away suddenly a couple weeks ago after a bicycle accident. Aperture Academy has about half a dozen or so instructors. I know I'm not supposed to play favorites with Aperture Academy instructors, but I always was delighted to learn when she was going to be on a workshop I was taking. So I took this photo of her in March at a portraits photo workshop. Uh, we have the next photo. Um, this is the first workshop I took with Ellie. Um, it was at the Bodhi and Eastern Sierra workshop in August 2011. You can see that's her in the front row. And that's me. You can't buy. I can't see. It's standard deaf. Yeah. That's me yeah. behind in the middle with a goofy smile. Um, it's a group shot with her and I at the Bodhi Ghost Town. Here is a photo of us in February 2012 on the sand dunes in Death Valley. Uh, I would always wear a crazy hat to these workshops. Um, so I lent her a crazy cow hat to wear for this group photo. Um, so I had taken a number of workshops, so I was pretty good at the science of taking photos. Ellie was really great at teaching me the art of taking pictures, so I how to compose them. So this photo I took in Death Valley, uh, she really helped me a lot with. Uh, she told me about leading lines and rules of thirds and all that stuff. So this, this photo looks pretty good. Just last June 2014, I was on the Palouse workshop with her in Washington State. So here's another group shot of us in a canola field or a mustard field or something. Yeah, it's not centered. Um, so here's Ellie encouraging me and pushing my limits. Uh, she had me stand on the edge of a cliff to get the shot. You can see here, I, that's a real cliff on the edge of. She encouraged me to do a five minute long exposure. And I was like, what, five minutes? That's way too long, that's crazy talk. And she's like, no, do five minutes. And look how it turned out. This is the shot I got. And that's pretty amazing. That's like a five minute exposure on the cliff in Washington. You can see like the, the water swirling in the bottom there. All right, now uh, next photo. Uh, here's Ellie Knight at the Mount Shasta workshop. This is less than two weeks before she passed. 
So this is like less than a month ago this photo was taken. So that's uh, her in the front. And here's a photo Ellie took of me. Um, here which encouraging me to go down this bank uh, practically into the lake to get a, a good shot. And then here's a photo of us together in December 2013. Uh, the Aperture, I was happened to be walking by the Aperture Academy when they were having an open house party. Uh, I got the invitation, but I had forgotten, you know, that it was happening that night. So that's a good picture. Um, so Ellie was a really great person, and she was a real firecracker. So she was full of energy and always in good spirits and patient and kind and always lit up a room, and I'm really going to miss her. I have another silly show. So this show is pretty silly. I have another silly show called Engineers in Cars Fetching Friends from the Airport. One time, she was the friend that I was fetching from the airport. So this is what I said about her then. We have video. Welcome to another episode of Engineers in Cars Fetching Friends from the Airport. Let's see who we're getting tonight. Today we're getting Ellie Stone. Ellie is a photographer. She works at After Academy and she does photography workshops and and she's amazing so I've been on, on uh, workshops with her and so I'll I'll go and I'll set up my tripod I'll put my camera on it I'll get on a bubble level make sure the camera is straight then try and you know zoom in and focus on something make sure it's really good focus and then I'll put on the self timer so there's no camera shake and and, and I'll take a picture and the lighting will be all wrong, so I'll like adjust my settings, and I'll do it again, and it'll look okay. And then Ellie will come by and say, "Hey, have you thought of this kind of shot?" And she'll like freehand the camera, like point it somewhere, not even look through the viewfinder, and go click, and she'll like show me the picture she just took, and it will be amazing. It'll have like a, it'll be a sunset full of purples and reds and colors I've never seen before. And there'll be like a lightning wow, strike right in the middle of it. And then in one corner, you'll see like owls feeding their babies. In another corner, you'll see like a deer, you know, running away from the wolves that are chasing it. And of course, all the things you see will be like right in the, you know, the thirds, the rule of thirds. Um, and yeah, Five, she's going to be looking four. for the finder. Three, That's what she gets. Two, it's amazing. Ta-da! So, I know it was out of sync, but... Go to engineersandcars.com to see the entire episode with Ellie Stone. Um, so, we're going to take I, a re... I occasionally need to be picked up from the airport, you know. But usually it's really inconvenient like for you. For what, how inconvenient how? I don't know. I, I've, I've, never, I've always wrong, just rented a car. To wrong time of day? Like late. I have given you rides. I have a lot of luggage. I have given you rides to the airport before. Yeah, but a long time ago. I, it was like Christmas time, I think. I remember doing it yeah, once. Because yeah. on the way to the airport, we had to drive by manicurists to drop off Christmas cards for them. Okay. Do you remember that time? No. Okay. No. You were on the way to I Nebraska. don't remember last month's show, people. <laughs> that. Good. Good. That last month's wasn't that great. No, no. Not, not like either. this one. This one is going to be. Fantastic. So we got to take a recess now, um, and when, re when we reconvene, we'll be taking your tweets, and then we will talk about the Confederate flag. So I ordered you to reconvene here in 90 seconds. Did you get like a calendar okay. with court words on it? No. Like a court word of the day I, calendar? I wanted to go to Google and type in like courtroom jargon, and then find all these phrases. Yes. And like turn them into a show okay so i've been thinking all month so like i have the recess Man. and the, the re yes. reconvene bench warrant. bench warrant i've been yes. thinking about that one for a long time wow because my friend i got a friend who moved and he's worried that he's getting jury summonses to his old address which doesn't check very often and now he thinks there's a bench warrant for his arrest because he's never going to jury duty i don't know why he, he if he moved he didn't have to why he's well, different did he, did he county now? out of county yes See, your jury is, is the county you're in. But you have to reply it's saying... A federal jury. Do you have to reply saying I'm not in this county anymore? No, no. If no. you don't live there, you are not... I was on jury duty like two weeks ago, but they never called me. I called, like I went to the website. I didn't even yes. call. You I go to the website. 
over and over again. Isn't it great? And then, so I could not have done anything and the result would have been the same. Because it's not like they know I'm calling in. They don't know I'm taking the website. They don't. So I could have just like ignored the jury. Right, but they didn't actually call your number either. They didn't call my like number. If they'd called number. your group and you hadn't been checking the website, yeah, then, I'd be they'd screwed. Be, then they'd be sending you letters. So today, I uh, group 160 of the John Wants Answers jurors was called. Group 160. Uh, that's why Lisa Tamaki, who's in group 160, is, has a bench warrant. Oh, okay. Yeah, you didn't get the, uh, I guess you're not on the jury list. No, I'm, you? here's the thing. <laughs> when you're an expert on the show, you are exempt <laughs> you, from jury duty you on the can't, same show. Yeah, you can't yeah, be an expert yeah. witness and be on the jury. You can't. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, even if I wasn't the expert witness, I'm pretty sure I would be, you know, conflict of interest prohibited from serving on the jury. Very given that you and I are mortal enemies. <laughs> Wait, what? We're mortal enemies? What I happened? so. I'm, I don't not, I'm not clear on court jargon, <laughs> but... All right. Um, so I think we are prepared to... Right. Going to go oh. back live in five, four, three, two... Court is now in session. Where is court being held this month? Um, we are, because we're talking about the Confederate flag, yes. we are in a barbecue restaurant. Wow. A... Well, it's a Texas bar. Is Texas part of the South? No. No? No. Okay, well, we are in a barbecue place. Okay. Which is proper in the South. So this is what Canadians think. That Texas... the South. That's part of Texas? That, that it includes Texas. Yes, I okay. guess. Okay, good job. What is Texas part of then? If it's not the well, South. it wasn't technically You can't part go of the Confederacy. farther South than Texas. Well, you, I don't... Well, you can go to Hawaii. That's not... Is that South? Yes. Okay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't, well, I don't really, yeah. It wasn't oh, part of the Confederacy. At the time when this Civil War happened, yes. Texas was not a state. Correct. Okay. It's a territory. California was a state. Yes. But Texas not. No. So it was like a hole. Was there like a hole in the yes. states? Huge. Huge hole. Yeah. They discovered gold in California. That's why it got they in pretty quick. They had not discovered gold in Texas. <laughs> That's why California and they was quickly made a state. And they didn't need oil until later. Not until late, not the 1880s, 1890s, when yeah, it really yeah. took off. Okay. Um, so we have tweets. Uh, I'm tweeting from rehearsal. Will I still get credit for jury time served? No. Um, unless you're watching live on the stream. Like I don't think is. you are. He's at a rehearsal. He's at a rehearsal. How could it be? So, um, bench warrant for Scott Canaster. Scott Canister. To appear. Canister. 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 A canister, yeah, like paper, a canister. Paper of, canister software, I think. Uh, and then, oh, he tweeted again. I would like to know tonight's topic. Well, we already mentioned it. It's, mentioned it. it's Ellie Stone and it's Confederate if flag. He was watching. So now we have proof. Now we have proof that he was not, in fact, watching. Yes. Um, Unless he tweeted that before the show. He tweeted both before the show. Oh. Yeah. So he's, we don't even know. He, he could be, he could have like a tweet bot. And we have no messages from the website. Only, only tweets. So. Um, two tweets from before the show from a guy who I assume you are paying for good reviews. Our next topic, the Confederate flag. <laughs> okay. It's louder. He must have moved it up. Got, it got louder. He must have moved up during the break. <laughs> okay, so, tragically, tragic tragedy, Tragi as tra tragedies tend to be. Tr yes. Um, white guy tragically shot a number of African American people in a church. Yes. And now, after that, lots of attention is given to the Confederate flag. Yes. Why? Um, uh, the Confederate flag in the last 50 years. Uh, not even the Confederate flag. The the flag that flew over the armies of General Lee uh -huh. during battle was kind of reappropriated for uh, the white supremacy uh, and for the movement that wanted to resist integration and civil rights for African Americans in the 50s and 60s, and it kind of became their symbol. But it was like adopted by a number of different people. Like even the states adopted uh, this flag. Like in the 1950s and they, 1960s, a number of them they flew started flying over this flag their state as capitals. a way to show yeah. the, you know, to to rebel against the federal government, which they 
Were they doing that to rebel? Well, they were doing it to push back. What were they pushing back against in the 60s, uh, 50s? The Civil Rights Movement, the oh. requirement by the federal government that they integrate the schools, that they allow African Americans to attend colleges alongside. So that's a pretty douche move. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 Well, that's pretty terrible. Um, growing up, the only exposure I had to the Confederate flag was on the top of the General Lee. General Lee. In the show. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Dukes of Hazard, right? Dukes of Hazard. A very them popular Duke boys. show. Them Duke boys. A comedy, a family friendly show. Well, except for the explosions and the shooting things with arrows. That and was the made it more. F- unsafely. Well, yeah. But I mean, given today's and, and gunshots Daisy, and stuff. Daisy wore Daisy. inappropriate Daisy. clothing for really yeah. a family show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, well, it was. And, and I want to point out they're moonshiners. So they were promoting. Retired. Weren't they retired moonshiners? Uh, I don't think they were moonshining anymore. How retired anymore. they were. I mean, I recall numerous episodes where Uncle Jesse had to make a special batch of moonshine. I think they had leftovers in storage from the past. It doesn't stay good that long. No? How long, like, if you have, like, vodka in your, in your basement, when it stay good for years? I'm going to say, if you've been distilling vodka in a cave, <laughs> it's got a couple years tops. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, technically, that's not the Confederate flag on the General Lee. No. That's the, the Confederate battle flag. A Confederate battle flag. A Confederate battle flag. That the, the Northern Virginia's... General Lee's armies. regiments. There is no more Northern Virginia. Well, no, no, it, there, was a there wasn't one. a state of Northern Virginia. There was a state. No, there wasn't. Well, there wasn't. Right. Oh. The, the regiment he controlled was ah. made up people from Northern Virginia. So, so it was the Northern Virginia Regiment. Okay. Um, and that was the Robert General, uh, General Robert E. Lee battle led line. that battle. Well, generally, yes. Yeah. And so the General Lee in that TV show was named after him too. So yes. there's a whole lot of yes, Civil there are War many, references. Many, many monuments to yeah. um, Confederate. But, yeah. But yeah. I never really considered though the the flag, the Confederate. Well, we considered the, the Confederate flag to mean like in your face black people. I never thought it to be mean that. I thought it meant like, hey, we're in the South. And here's the flag we fly in the South. And we have our little, we like barbecues and watermelons and whatever the South people like. It just like, it represented. I'm going to point out you were in Canada. Yeah. So perhaps not represented particularly in tune with the. Yeah. So is there a flag that represents West Coast uh, lifestyle? Well, I don't think so. Well, the rainbow flag. That, that well, more represents like a yeah. subset. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the South was the only people who had their own flag. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, every state has a flag. Yeah, but the Confederate flag kind of represented the southern... Correct. All yes. the southern states. Yes. Actually, the, one of the flags has... Mississippi. The battle, Mississippi. Yeah, the Mississippi flag has the... The Mississippi? Confederate yes, battle Mississippi flag still has it. So they just, like just last night, South Carolina Senate, they voted... And the House. In the House. Yes. Well, the House, Senate previously... House last night, I yes. think it was. Governor signed it today. Voted to Black get rid of the flag. Tomorrow. And then, yeah, today the governor signed Why didn't, like, at 4 o'clock the governor signed it? How come at 4.01 the flag wasn't taken down? Like, why do we have to wait till tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Oh, because they, they're going to have a ceremony where they're going to take it down and take yeah. it to a museum. A museum. Okay. Um, so there's been pushback saying they, that flag does not represent slavery. It represents just the Southern lifestyle. Uh, some people have said that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to a lot of people, that's not what it represents. Because these, if, if if it had not been adopted in the fifties and sixties as pushback against the civil rights movement, uh-huh. if but like these, the Ku Klux Klan didn't prominently use that flag yeah. at their rallies and oh, put that flag on they their did that things. Too? Yeah. Um, if um, there has been racism for a long time. I don't know if you've heard. I'm told. I'm yeah. told. I don't know if you've heard. Like I've, we d- I've I, seen Wikipedia. I don't see it here, but I'm told racism for a long time. How come that very most recent act of racism caused this stir up? When there's racism all the time, how come they didn't say, hey, let's get rid of this Confederate flag? Um, I think there are a couple things that might have made it gel a little more than otherwise. The uh-huh. perpetrator... Uh, was pictured 
uh, wearing jackets with a flag on it. Mm -hmm. uh, very close before he went uh, and murdered the nine people at the thing. Um, I also think, I mean, the one of the people murdered, Senator Pickett, uh, had for years been trying to remove the flag. So, mm -hmm. in some vague way, the legislature could kind of honor some of his wishes by doing something he'd hoped to do. Um, uh, and more cynically, I think for some, it's it's a distraction from the actual horror of the event. Uh, we can't actually fix some of the racism and mm -hmm. beliefs, but we're going to do this other thing. So mm -hmm. at least we did something. Um, so I remember there was a, a uh, The Simpsons. Simpsons. Where I, where I Simpsons get, did it. I get a lot of you know my information about the world from Simpsons. Okay. Um, Apu yes. on The Simpsons. Yes. Not a natural born citizen of the United States. No. He's from India. He was taking the the citizenship, citizenship test. test. And the question they asked him was, uh, I, I have written down here. All right. Here's your last question. What was the cause of the Civil War? That's the examiner. Yes. And here's Apu. Actually, there are a number of causes. Aside from the obvious schism between the abolitionists and the anti-abolitionists, there were economic factors, both domestic and international. And then the examiner interrupts him and say, wait, wait, just say slavery. Just say slavery. And Apu says, slavery it is, sir. <laughs> so Apu, one of the smartest, smarter characters. Possibly the smartest. Well, there's that like uh, there's scientist that guy, yeah. that nerdy guy. Yeah, but. Yeah. He's a flavor, Yeah. He's mocking. Um, the French, people, the guy the French like. The comedian that the French like. Jerry Lewis? Yeah. Isn't he like a Jerry Lewis like imitation? Think, uh, maybe. You know? Yes, occasionally he does a Jerry Lewis imitation. Okay. Um, so the Civil War was it. Mostly about slavery. Mostly about slavery, but. Mostly was about it, slavery. Okay. So it wasn't like all those I mean, It was economic. like the first paragraph of. Of the Declaration of War? Of, of almost everything. Was like we don't we, like We those. are unhappy. The Northerners don't want us to have slaves anymore. Oh. They're not letting us have new territories become slave territories. They are not mm -hmm. willing to return the slaves that escape. Yeah. And Mostly it's true slavery. that the industries in the South and North were very different. Yes. Such that because of plantations and the technology of the time, uh, they guess they relied more on slave labor in the South than they would have had to in the North. I, I think I'm not an economist. I think <laughs> it was kind of self-perpetuating since they had slave labor. It was hard for them to develop more of a middle class that would mm -hmm. kind of raise everyone's boats up by making everyone get smarter and making every... Th I'm told they also didn't have as many raw materials yeah. as the North. Um, all right. Any more states have to pass laws to get the Confederate flag down? or uh, Mississippi's considering removing it from their state flag. Oh, good. Hey, uh, Congress is considering well. prohibiting it from being sold in <laughs> Whoa. national park. Whoa, I'm being told it's time for us to be silenced. Um, we got to give the, that gun back to the previous guy. Yeah. Whoa. Shot. No, no, he's. I think this maybe guy is a good either shot. he's a good shot or a too good sh shot. That's what I'm saying. We got to. We got to. We. Yeah. <laughs> this guy has great aim. Okay. Well, our next episode, if I'm still alive. It's August 13th. This is our season finale. Call KMVT in Mountain View and ask that they renew John Wants Answers for next season. Because this is our season finale. So I hope to see you in season six. Stay tuned for uh, Atlas of Thoughts on His Met. I have no idea what that show is. I don't either. I don't either. And then What's a Bleep? I might be on What's a Bleep tonight. So check that out. All right. Uh, great show, Keith.